All right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. First, I'd like to thank the members of the Cook County Health Team, Israel Rocha, CEO, Dr. Claudia Fegan, Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Lamar Hasbrook, Chief Operating Officer for the Cook County Department of Public Health, and we have two doctors, two other doctors with us, both, both, both the previous people are doctors as well, Sharon Wellbell and Monica Merson uh, from CCH Infectious Disease Team. And of course, we've been joined by the chair of the Cook County um, Board of Commissioners Health Committee, Dennis Deere, and we're also in Commissioner Deere's district. Yeah. All right, we're here today to raise awareness about the importance of getting this year's flu and COVID shots. During the 2021-2022 flu season, flu was associated with 9 million illnesses, 4 million doctor's visits, 10,000 hospitalizations, and 5,000 deaths. And that was considered a mild flu season. We know that COVID variants continue to circulate, including an increase in cases last month. I'd like to remind everyone, everyone, that vaccinations are an important part of healthy lives and healthy communities. As we enter another respiratory virus season, we need to take advantage of the tools at our disposal to give ourselves the best chance, the very best chance, of fighting these viruses. I'm proud and grateful to stand with our medical professionals and my colleague, Commissioner Deere, Cook County, Cook County Health and Department of Public Health staff. They have been at the forefront in caring for patients in Cook County. In this age of medical misinformation, misinformation, it's important to lift up messages from our doctors and medical professionals. Let's heed their advice and root our decisions in science. Getting vaccinated is an action we can all take to protect our health and the health of those around us. I always say, even if you are uncertain about vaccines yourself, you need to get one so you can protect all the people that you love, including your parents, your grandparents, mm. aunts and uncles, not to mention your children, but in particular, the older members of your community who are particularly susceptible to the virus. I'll be getting my COVID vaccine today, and I hope you will join me in getting your shot too. Now, I'm gonna turn this over to Commissioner Dennis Deere, and I would ask that each person introduce the um, good person who follows them so they don't have to keep running to the podium. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, Madam President, and good morning to everyone. Good morning. Uh, we are grateful to be here today. Um, and this is, is a great occasion, uh, because we know that uh, in, over the past few years, as the pandemic kicked in, we lost a lot of people. But now we have an opportunity to uh, get our vaccinations um, and live a healthier life. And that's what we're pushing today. I too will be getting both my COVID vaccination, but also uh, my flu shot, uh, because this is that season. If, you, if you've been walking around or getting on airplanes, you notice a lot of people are sniffling and sneezing and coughing. And so you wanna make sure that you got a level of protection. It is important, important, important. Uh, I'll end with this. Socrates said something a long time ago. If you always do what you've always done, you're gonna always get what you've always got. That's the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again. Now the deerism is, I made that up so it's a deerism. In order to get something you never had, you gotta do something you never done. Get vaccinated and get your flu shot. And I will bring up next Dr. Claudia, oh no, Israel. Israel. I will bring up next the CEO of the Cook County Health and Hospital System, Israel Roker, Jr. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you to everyone who is here joining us here today. Thank you to President Perkwinkle uh, for your steady support of Cook County Health um, and, your, and, your, and your stalwart support of ensuring that everyone has access to the medication support and healthcare services that they need to live their healthiest life, especially including vaccinations. Uh, 
Cook County Health is offering access to the flu and COVID vaccines at Strozier and Provident Hospitals for community members and to our patients at all of our community health centers across Chicago and suburban Cook County. Cook County Health has provided over 1 million COVID shots since vaccines became available on December 2020. I will never forget when we first opened our first mass vaccination site in Tinley Park. There was a huge snowstorm, but nothing, no one was deterred. Thousands of people showed up in droves, anxious to get their first dose of vaccine. After getting their shot, you could see visibly the relief in individuals who felt protected, who felt that this was a way to take a step in regaining a sense of normalcy and bringing an end to the COVID-19 pandemic. We are proud to be able to be here with where people need us most and to continue to provide access to vaccines against this virus, which is still very much with us today. While we have helped to, to jointly accomplish great strides against COVID-19, it remains part of our community. And presently, it is the fourth leading cause of death in the U.S. after heart disease, cancer, and unintentional injury. I will say that again. There is a belief that COVID is a thing of the past, and it is not. It is still here with us, ever present today. It is the fourth leading cause of death in our communities, across our country, and across the county. And so it comes in fourth after heart disease, cancer, and unintentional injury. And unlike heart disease, cancer, and unintentional injury, the one thing that is different about COVID is that you can take an action to prevent it. You can get vaccinated. You can tell those around you to get vaccinated. You can take a preventative step to ensure that you protect yourself and your family from seeing the most serious consequences of becoming infected with COVID-19. I urge people to visit cookcountyhealth.org to find the link to schedule your COVID vaccine today. You can also call 833-308-1988 to schedule your appointment. Again, that's 833-308-1988 to schedule your appointment. The COVID and flu vaccines are safe and effective. They are our best bet to staying healthy this winter and beyond. If you have been on the fence, take this as a sign. Now is the time to act. Make your plan and get vaccinated. It's the best way to safeguard your health, to safeguard your family, to safeguard those that you love, and to ensure that you have a warm and prosperous season coming forward in winter. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your families as your healthcare provider, and we look forward to seeing you soon at one of our vaccination sites. Next, I am very happy to bring forward uh, Dr. Claudia Feagan, our Chief Medical Officer for Cook County Health. Thank you. So I'm Claudia Feagan, Chief Medical Officer of Cook County Health, and I'm honored uh, to be here with our uh, infectious disease doctors, Dr. Merson and Dr. Wellbell, as we discuss the uh, COVID and flu vaccine. So the COVID pandemic highlighted the real concerns that people have with the medical field. It was a time when there was increasing distrust of, of the medical profession. Um, I'm proud of the work that our teams have done to address the vac vaccine he hesitancy that exists in our community. As physicians, we need to do the work needed to educate our patients, to uh, uh, talk about the uh, risk associated not just with COVID, but with flu as well. Um, the best way to combat the misinformation, and people get information from all different sources these days, um, and not all of it's correct, is to talk to patients, to meet them where they are, uh, to address their concerns one-on-one. -on -one. So physicians, uh, healthcare providers, PAs, advanced practice nurses, we all have a responsibility to talk to patients and help them understand the need for the COVID vaccine. There's an incredible amount of misinformation out there. And when it comes to vaccines, people are just looking for some guidance from a trusted, few trusted voices. We have an obligation as healthcare providers to be that trusted voice, to understand their concerns, to hear their questions, answer their questions, and make people feel comfortable with the need to get a vaccine. We need to be the ones to help our patients reach that conclusion that yes, they need to get vaccinated, they need to do it now. Because lives depend on us reaching patients and getting vaccine into more patients. Research has shown again and again and again that COVID vaccines work. They reduce the risk of death and hospitalizations and then re reduce the risk of long COVID. So flu vaccines have been critical for decades. We know that they save lives and they save people from getting very sick. Um, so if you're out there and you have questions about vaccines, 
talk to your health care provider, talk to your nurse, talk to your doctors, talk to your physician's assistant, talk to anyone who's in health care and taking care of patients, and they will help you understand and help answer your questions so we can get everyone vaccinated and be safe this winter. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Lamar Hasbrook, who is our Chief Operating Officer for Cook County Department of Public Health. Thank you, Dr. Fagan. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So I'm Dr. Lamar Hasbrook, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the Cook County Department of Public Health, where we partner with residents uh, in suburban Cook County to build healthier communities. So we don't have patients. We have residents um, that we work with every day. And I'm grateful to join President Preckwinkle and my colleagues here from CCH to address this important topic. Um, so from a community health perspective, uh, we want residents to know a couple of things. One, the public health emergency is over. Um, two, the pandemic is pretty much behind us. But three, the deaths are just a fraction of what they were about a year ago and certainly mo much less than they were two years ago. But the virus that causes COVID is still alive and well. It's still circulating. Um, and we know this from the ED visit data, from the data from hospital admissions, from wastewater data, and from the amount of deaths that we see. So the point is that the story with COVID is still being written. And we want you and your families uh, to remain healthy and strong through the fall and into the holiday season. And this includes protection from the flu, which we can have up to 40,000 deaths per year, um, from COVID, which has a case fatality rate or death rate that's 10 to 15 times higher than the flu, and of course RSV for those folks who might be um, in that risk group. So the best way to protect yourself, as has already been mentioned, is with a now seasonal or annual COVID shot. Also, we want to encourage you to get your seasonal flu shot, as folks are used to. And then for those, again, who are eligible, uh, the very young, the pregnant, the folks who are over 60, to consider getting an RSV shot as well. The three um, viral infections that we had to deal with uh, last winter and last fall. Especially those with the highest risk profiles. And we know that there's some fatigue with COVID, even talking about it. We know that folks feel boosted out. Uh, but just because you feel boosted out, doesn't mean you should not boost your own immunity. And we know that vaccines are really the best way to boost your immunity, um, but also to protect yourself from the dire um, uh, consequences of getting some of these infections. And again, up to 40 or 50,000 folks per year die of the flu um, and 10 times that many of COVID. So we wanna make sure um, that you are considering this vaccine, especially if you're in a high profile risk group, that is if you're over 65 years of, old, of age, if you have chronic disease, if you're obese or have morbid obesity, if you have a weakened immune system for any reason whatsoever, you should be considering to line up and to get this protection from this vaccine. So we are at the health department, we are, again, we don't have patients, we have residents that we partner with and we are promoting, we're answering questions. We have a promotion going on right now called uh, Boost Up Cook County. This is over a year old or so. You can go to boostupcookcounty.com for more information on all vaccine preventable conditions, all vaccine preventable diseases, including the flu and COVID and get more information. If you wanna know where you can get your uh, flu shot or your, um, or your COVID, uh, annual shot, um, you can go to vaccines.gov and get information there. So again, we want to just encourage you, again, we understand there is some fatigue around this, but we want to encourage you to strongly, strongly consider protecting yourself, protecting your family, protecting your loved ones by getting this vaccine this season. And with that, I want to introduce to the mic uh, Dr. Monica Mercone, infectious disease physician here at Cook County Health. Oh, good morning. Good morning. good morning. good morning. I am Dr. Monica Merson, and I'm one of the infectious disease attending at the CORE Center, the Cook County, and I'll be talking to you in Spanish. All right, there it goes. So, uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you, Dr. Uh, President Prequinkle, uh, and thank you. There we go. <laughs> she just adjusted my microphone. Okay. Bueno, hoy. Yo vine acá para hablar a ustedes con relación a la vacuna de influenza, que se llama el flu o la gripe, y la vacuna de COVID, ¿no? que es la vacuna de COVID-19, que ha afligido a todas las comunidades por mucho tiempo durante estos últimos años. Mucha gente se ha muerto, muchos conocidos, amigos, familiares, y queremos prevenir. Este año 
Estamos en una, en una época mucho mejor que hace dos años atrás, donde nosotros estábamos mucho más preocupados por el COVID-19, pero todavía no sabemos bien en qué dirección va la epidemia de COVID-19, o, o como ya dijeron antes, en qué dirección eh, todo el, el virus del COVID-19, cómo se va a, a manifestar en, la, en las comunidades de ahí para adelante, ahora que todas las precauciones de protección fueron retiradas, excepto por la vacuna. La vacuna es muy importante que se tome ahora cada año porque está actualizada para las cepas que están circulando del COVID-19. Todavía tenemos internaciones por COVID-19, todavía tenemos muertes por COVID-19. Eso queremos evitar y cada año esperamos que sea mejor, como la, así que la inmunidad mejore cada vez que tomamos la vacuna para las cepas que van siendo actualizadas en las vacunas. Eh, toda, eh, más recientemente los test para el COVID-19 están en casi 12% positivos, que es mucho más que lo que estaba en el verano. O sea, estamos viendo un aumento de casos ya ahora pasando el principio del otoño. Cuando lleguemos al invierno, esperamos que esos casos aumenten más todavía porque la gente se junta más adentro de las casas, adentro de los lugares, las escuelas están abiertas con todos los chicos. Entonces, en este periodo, suele que los, todos los virus respiratorios aumenten la cantidad de transmisión y, y eso pasa con el COVID y pasa con la, el virus de la gripe. Pero por suerte, vivimos en un lugar, en un país donde hay avances tecnológicos, hay apoyo de los gobiernos, apo, apoyo de la lideranza del, del sistema de salud que nos puede permitir tener acceso a todas esas vacunas. Entonces, tenemos que estar eh, dispuestos a, a pensar en eso y a protegernos ya que tenemos acceso a todo eso fácilmente y hacer eh, que venir a los servicios de salud, venir a, a hablar con tu doctor o con tu enfermera y hacer la cita para tomar la vacuna del COVID y la vacuna de la gripe. Eso es muy importante. Esperamos que, que este año sea, sea una estación, que el invierno sea, no sea muy, muy terrible con relación a flu. El año pasado no fue un año muy difícil, la, fue, fueron menos casos relativamente a otros años, pero este año no se sabe lo que va a pasar. Lo que sí se sabe es que la vacuna de la gripe, cuando usada en el hemisferio sur, donde primero aparece la gripe, porque el invierno es primero en el hemisferio sur, eh, fue muy efectiva, fue más del 50% efectiva y capaz de proteger la mayoría de las hospitalizaciones cuando utilizadas ahí. Entonces, esperamos que lo mismo pase acá. Eh, estoy muy contenta de decir que, que trabajo en un lugar donde es capaz de ofrecer eh, acceso a las vacunas y a todas esas medidas preventivas para el flu y para el COVID y que espero que ustedes eh, te tomen ventaja, a ventaja de esto, que vengan a tomar tus vacunas, que digan a tus familiares, a tus amigos que se vacunen con la vacuna de la gripe y el flu. Y que ayuden a nosotros a combatir toda la falta de información y la mala información que anda por ahí y para bajar las barreras para que la gente reciba las vacunas que son necesarias. Muchas gracias a todos y ahora yo voy a tomar mis dos vacunas. Y a... Uh, well, Now I'm going to introduce my colleague, Dr. Sharon Welbel. La doctora Sharon Welbel va, va a hablar con nosotros. Gracias. Gracias. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, President Preckwinkle. So I'm Dr. Sharon Welbel. I'm also an infectious disease physician, and I'm the chief of epidemiology and infection control here at Cook County Health. So. Like everybody else, I want to talk to you about why it's so important to get your flu and COVID vaccines. So first, we're going to talk about COVID. Nationally, the percent of COVID tests that are positive right now are a little bit above 11%. What does that mean? It's just a number. But just to put it into perspective, in the beginning of July, this last July, the percent of people that took a COVID test was just one to 2% positive, and now we're at almost 12%. So we know the numbers have gone up. It's nothing like it has been in last seasons, but just like what everybody else has been saying, COVID is still here. Um, and sadly, death rates have actually gone up by 8% in these last few weeks. So again, same thing that everybody has been saying, COVID is here. People are getting sick, getting hospitalized, and more people are, being, uh, are dying from it. I anticipate that with the weather getting colder, school in full swing, more indoor activities, 
that the rates of test positivity for COVID and flu rates will only increase, just like we see every winter viral season. But I do want to say I feel incredibly fortunate to live in a country where scientists, pharmaceutical companies, and our healthcare providers work together so that we are all able to receive an updated COVID vaccine. I'm particularly excited about this COVID vaccine. Again, we've heard people are tired of getting vaccinated. They're tired of hearing about vaccines. This particular COVID vaccine is incredibly similar. It's almost exactly the same as the dominant COVID variant that's circulating. So I am personally very excited to get vaccinated with this COVID vaccine. All right, let's talk about flu. Uh, the CDC's flu campaign this year is wild, is yes, wild to mild. Um, I really love that because it describes just how the flu vaccine is able to mitigate flu symptoms, decrease our chances of being hospitalized, and our chances of dying. And that is particularly for, true for the very young, the very old, our people who are immunocompromised, the most um, vulnerable people who should make certain that they all get vaccinated and that we need to make certain that we all get vaccinated so we can protect these people. We did have a mild flu season last year, but the one thing I can say about influenza is that it is unpredictable. We don't know what is gonna happen this year. We do know that in the Southern Hemisphere, where they're using a vaccine that's very similar to the vaccine that we're using here in the US, that it decreased death rates by 50% for people who got vaccinated. That's an incredible statistic. What do we know that works that well just by getting an influenza vaccine? So we want to make sure that everybody should get vaccinated again. And it really is, it's important to get vaccinated by the end of October. That's just in, because we know that we usually peak at a couple of months after that. It takes a couple of weeks to, to develop some immunity. So to be on the safe side, it's good to be vaccinated by the end of October. But if you're not vaccinated by then, it's okay to get vaccinated anytime during the season. I'm thrilled that Cook County Health continues to be an access point for so many people in the city and Cook County suburbs to receive safe and effective flu and COVID vaccines that will, again, protect you and your loved ones. While we do battle misinformation, which you've also heard today, we need to ensure that the barriers to vaccine remain low. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Nick.